So maybe the scooter wasn't such a good idea. It uh, was a little bit dangerous. Poor Ben has a pretty major head injury and the doctors are making him wear this, these sunglasses because of a sensitivity to light now. So let's just all agree that scooters in the hallway uh, do not mix. Do not mix at all. But let's talk about what we should be doing in the hallway. So we're gonna talk about four, four specific things. There are a lot more expectations if you look on the PBIS posters that are throughout the hallways, but let's just touch on four major things in the interest of time. The very first thing we wanna talk about really touches on kind of two of our pause expectations, the wise choices and the safety. We always, always, always want to walk while we're in the hallways. Not only is it going to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and your friends around you, it also helps you arrive on time because the fact of the matter is, is a teacher sees you running in the hallways, they're probably going to have you stop, return to the place where they saw you running, and then walk again. And when we walk, we always wanna walk on the right side of the hallway. We want to imagine the hallways like a road that we would drive a car down. So the middle is not necessarily a place that we want to be traveling because then we're going to be jostling with other people coming the other direction. So always pick the right side of the hallway and kind of think about it like, like you're a car in traffic. Second thing, we always need to be thinking about keeping the hallways clean. When you walk into a place that's clean, you can tell that the people care about that area. And the hallways are really the first thing people see when they come in. They, you know, they go to the office and then from the office, they're out into the hallways. And if they're littered with trash, their immediate thought will be, well, these kids don't care very much about their school. And that's, I know that's categorically untrue. So let's show them that we care about the schools by keeping the hallways clean. So make sure that when you are throwing something away that it ends up in one of the bins that's in the hallways. Or if you happen to see some trash that's on the floor, go ahead and pick it up and, and toss it. Our last thing that we really want to talk about is the voice level in the hallways. On the posters, you'll notice that there's a zero to two voice level. A zero is obviously silent. A one would be like a whisper voice. And a two would be kind of like um, if you were talking to someone across a table from you. So it's still not very loud. The reason we want to think about having a pretty quiet voice in the hallways is because there are usually classes in session all throughout the day. In the morning, we line up a little bit where everyone's being dismissed at the same time. But right around lunchtime, all the schedules get offset just a little bit. And so while the sixth graders are going to lunch, seventh grade is still in the class. And if the sixth graders are you know, causing a ruckus, I know that they won't, but if the sixth graders are causing a ruckus, that interrupts those classes that are trying to learn. And so a whispering voice or a very you know, kind of shoulder to shoulder voice is a, an appropriate voice level for the hallways. If you scream, someone hears it, you definitely don't want a teacher coming out of their room and saying, hey, what's going on here? All right, I'll see you next time.